On January 3rd, 2020, a 911 call was made by a concerned bystander after a restaurant owner, identified as 57-year-old Jerry Pastor, stumbled onto the streets after being stabbed in the neck. Pastor had been a chef for 40 years, and in 2018 he was able to gain ownership of the Shamrock Deli in Audubon, a borough located in Camden County, New Jersey. On the day of the stabbing, an 18-year-old named Daheem Williams walked into the deli. He had previously inquired about getting the job there, and had returned to see if Pastor had made up his mind. When he said he didn't, Williams stole a tip jar containing between 10 and $20 and fled. Pastor caught up to him, and a struggle ensued. This was when Pastor was stabbed and the call to 911 was made. 911, where is your emergency? Yes, I, I, someone just got stabbed in the neck at the corner of Heather Ave and, and Cuthbert Boulevard. I need you on the okay? Heather and the, Cuthbert? Heather Ave and Cuthbert. Do you know who did her or no? No, I don't got some gushing blood. No! Alright, I'm calling 911 right now. Did yeah, you get a description of the person who did it or no? Yes, the black guy. He's covered his neck. He's stabbed in the neck bed, man. I need an ambulance. No, I already got him dispatched down. I'm saying, did you see the person that did it? Yes or no? Just stay with me, Jeff. Stay with me. Sir. Stay with me. What? I'm holding his neck, dude. Joe, are you with me? Joe, are you with me? Sir. Joe, are you with me? Can you get... Can, can anyone get a clean towel or cloth to apply I'm pressure where he's bleeding I'm from? I'm All right. Is the person who stabbed him there? Yes or no? No, he's gone. He ran. Did you get the description of him or no? Uh, yeah, he's a black guy wearing a black coat, riding an orange bicycle. He's stabbed in the okay. neck. Here, take my phone. Call nine one. You talk to nine one one. Come here. My phone, take my neck. Sir, there are helps on the way out there, okay? Just apply pressure, okay? Just right keep applying pressure. They're on, they're on, they're on hello, hello. 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 Tell him to keep applying pressure. Keep applying pressure. Keep applying pressure. Okay. Is he in a house or are you outside of a house? Say again? Are you inside or outside? We're outside on the corner of Heather and Cuthbert. That's yep, from the that's Shamrock right. Deli. Okay, just tell him to keep applying pressure, okay? If it becomes soaked in blood, add more to what's already there. What is your name, sir? Do you know the person or no? No, I don't. I, we just pulled over. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, is he going to... Black guy wearing a... guy with an orange bike wearing a hoodie. He's shorter than you. I hear them there. Are they there? Yeah, yeah, they're pulling up now. No, no, no. Okay, they're here. All right, thank you. Let them take over, okay? Police arrived at the scene. They transferred Pastor to Cooper University Hospital, where he sadly died. He had been stabbed 11 times, two of which went into his liver. Williams was arrested at his Lindenwald home and charged with murder and possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose. On September 12, 2020, South Dakota Attorney General Jason Ravensborg called 911 after he struck and killed 55-year-old Joe Bover while driving home from a Republican Party fundraising event. In the 911 call, Ravensborg, who is a member of the Republican political party, says he thinks that he hit a deer, but as would be found out later, that was not the case. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. 911, this is Allie. How can I help you? Allie, this... Well, Allie, I'm the Attorney General, and I am 
I don't know. I hit something. You I'm hit something. By high more. High more. I was in the middle of the road. Okay, give me one second here. Let me get you a map. Do you know where you're at? I believe I'm by Highmore. I can, I'm right, I can see the town. Okay. I think that's Highmore. East or west? I just went to it. I am west of Highmore. Okay. Uh, about a mile, if that. Okay. And this is Scott. Up to say again. And what was your name? Jason, Jason. Brownsburg. Brownsburg. Perfect. Okay. You said he got real busy. Are you injured at all, Jason? I am not, but my okay. car sure as hell is. Uh oh, are you out of the roadway? I am out of the roadway. I was able to get over, but. Okay. Okay, what? It sure hit me. Mash my windshield. Oh no, okay. Do you think it was a deer or something? Is he vomiting? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I mean, it was right in the roadway and. And were you traveling westbound then? Yes, westbound, okay. back to Pierce. Okay. Alrighty, well, I will go ahead and let the uh, sheriff know. He's the one that's on call right now. He'll be responding from home, and I'll have him come out and talk to you and take the report. Can I just okay. get the license plate off your vehicle, Jason? Yes. <laughs> G. Zero 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 two seven. Okay. Government plate. Well, it's a bronze star plate. Okay. It's my personal car. Okay. All right. I will get him headed that way for you, Jason. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Joe Bover had crashed his truck in the area of US Highway 14 and began walking on the side of the roads. That was when he was hit and killed by Ravensburg. The next morning, Ravensburg returned to the scene to try and find the carcass of the deer and discovered Bover's body. Bover's wife said that she wasn't informed of her husband's death until 22 hours afterwards. During an investigation, it was determined that Ravensburg had no alcohol in his system at the time of the crash. The investigation is still ongoing. On August 10th, 2020, multiple 911 calls were made after an explosion at a gas station in Baltimore, Maryland. Reports came in of an explosion at 9.54 a.m. in the Reister Town Station neighborhood of North Baltimore. This was when the 911 calls were made. Baltimore City 911, so if it's famous, you address the emergency? Yes, uh, there was some sort of explosion. I'm, I, you might need to transfer me to Baltimore County because I'm at the city county line. Where did you, what was the location? Okay, yeah, that's Baltimore City. It goes that my house is in the county. So what type of explosion did you hear? It just was a boom, and it, sh it rattled my windows. I see my neighbors are down the road. They all came out of their house, so obviously they heard it too. Okay, you don't see any smoke or flames or anything? Uh, no, no, I don't. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna... Something happened out here. Right. It, it just was something I've, I've never even experienced. I've been out here for over 20 years. So this is it's scary. It's scary. Okay, all right. And you don't see any damage or anything, right? No. Do you hear b b a bursting or hissing sound? No. No, okay. All right. Um, and Has anyone complained about an unusual odor? I don't know. I'm in my house working. Mm -hmm. Yes, this Boom! Just went off, and so I just like somebody needs to come check this out. Okay, all right. So I've already sent the fire department um, out there so that we can see what's going on. Okay, um, we'll get someone there. Baltimore City 911. About five houses just blew up. Okay, repeat the location and make sure I have it correct. I'm about five houses blew up just now. Is it still in the 4200 block? Yeah. I'm sending them while okay. I'm talking to you. All right. You said it was an explosion. Yes. Is anything burning? No, it's all gone. The houses are gone. They're gone. Okay, is anyone trapped inside the debris? 
or you're not I, sure? I have no idea. I just okay, that's okay. Down the street. Okay. okay, that's all right. I smell gas when I went to the store. And did you hear a bursting or hitting yeah, sound? Yeah, it blew all our windows, yeah. Okay, all is anyone injured like, or you're not sure? We're not sure. We can't see down okay. there. Did you see anyone or anything suspicious? No. Okay, no problem. And I am sending the fire department to help now. Okay. Stay on the line, and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Do not touch or pick up anything. Do not use, turn on, or turn off any additional electrical devices. If it's mm -hmm. safe to do so, keep all bystanders away from the area and assign someone to guide the emergency crews to the general area. Please do not approach or enter any hazardous or dangerous areas. I'm going to let you go now. Help is on the way. If anything worsens in any way, call us back immediately for further instructions. Thank you. All right. Baltimore City, 911. You see the house blew up Park Street. Two of them, it looks like. Three, maybe. Okay, what's the street name? Labyrinth Road. And you said this is a home, business, or apartment? Houses. House. Three houses exploded. Three houses exploded? And not everybody else glass and doors off in the neighborhood. Um, yeah, I did. I just came outside and saw it when um, our windows and, and doors come shattering in. So, yes, I, I assume it's the same time. Okay. Are you at that location now? I'm across the street. All right. Is anything burning? I smell gas. You, wait, you said you smell gas? Mm -hmm. All right, let me add that one moment. Here come, here, come, here come one come down the street, emergency vehicle. Is anyone trapped? I think so. You said you think so? I'm pretty sure I heard somebody hollering. Okay, how many? I had no idea. The whole house is down. Now, can you ex describe the extent of the damage? The whole three, like three whole houses, maybe more, tumbled down. All you see is debris. Has anyone complained of an unusual odor? Just gas. Just smell the gas. All right. Is anyone injured? I'm pretty sure there is. It's three houses. Somebody was in some of them. Somebody was hollering. Okay. I was heard screaming. Now, did you see anyone or anything suspicious? No. All right, I'm sending the fire department help you now. Stay on the line. I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Do not touch or pick anything up. Do not try to put the fire out. Do not use, turn on, or turn off any additional electronic devices. Okay. If it's safe to do so, keep all bystanders away from the area. Assign someone to guide the emergency crews to the general area. I'm going to let you go now. Help is on the way. If anything worsens in any way, call us back immediately for further instructions. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. At around 11.18 a.m., about 200 members of the Baltimore City Fire Department arrived and extinguished the flames. Seven people were injured and two died. The deceased were identified as 61-year-old Lonnie Harrius and 20-year-old Joseph Graham. Graham was a sophomore at Morgan State University and Harriet had been staying with her boyfriend at the time of the blast. The cause of the explosion has yet to be determined. On September 17, 2020, at 1.15am, a woman in Collier County, Florida called 911, saying that a man with a shovel was trying to break into her home in Emma Cali. Harry County 911, what is the address of your emergency? Hello, there's somebody banging on my door really hard trying to get inside my house. Okay, what's the address, ma'am? What is it one more time? Okay, is there a unit number, ma'am? Huh? Is there a unit number? Yes, the uh, house is... Yes, but is there a unit number besides the house number? No, it's just the house number. Okay, what is your name, ma'am? And what is the phone number you're calling from? Oh, my. All right, right now, ma'am, just take a breath. Okay, all right, did you yeah. see the person at all? Yes, he's still at the door. Is he, okay, is he white, back. black, or Hispanic? Yes, uh, he's not at no, He's not at no, Because I don't want to open okay. the door. He's sitting on the door. Approximately how old is he? I don't know, because I'm not getting near the, okay. the door. My husband's on that. Did you see what color, uh, what, uh, color shirt he had on? No, like I said, we don't want, we did hear him, we don't really want to open the door. Okay, I'm not asking you to open the door, I'm just asking if you saw him at all. No, I didn't, okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I called from the room. It's okay, so right now just take a breath. I've already sent the call out. This isn't delaying them in any way. I'm just trying to let them know who they're going to be looking out for, okay? Okay. Has this ever happened before? No, never. No, okay. Did you say anything? No, nothing. We were all sleeping and um, I actually was laying down in the living room. 
when I heard that and he's trying to like, lock in and he's trying to get inside. Okay. You didn't say a word at all? No, nothing. We, we, like I okay. said, everybody was sleeping gotcha. except that was in the living room. Gotcha. Who else is that with yeah. you besides you and your husband? My husband, my dad, and my sister. Okay. Got it. Okay. Is he still at the front door? Yes, and he keeps yelling for us to open the door and open. Okay, so he is yelling now? And he has a shovel and he's trying to now get open. I don't know if he's going to try to break the window or something. Okay, I understand. Well, okay, they're already on their way. Okay. Let me know if he hits the door or anything with the shovel, okay? Okay. Time to get over here. Time to be careful, please. Okay. Are you or anybody that's there armed? No, nobody. Okay. Has anyone at this location uh, been, sorry, has anyone at this location been, I, I apologize, I'm forgetting the wording, been diagnosed with COVID-19 or have any flu-like symptoms? No, nothing like that. Okay. And like, like I said before, this isn't delaying them in any way. Okay. Uh, right now, I just want you to stay in the line with me and let me know, keep up to date with what's going on, what you're hearing or saying, okay? Okay. Okay. Out there yelling. Gotcha. What is he yelling? He just telling us to open the door and to open the door, and he keeps blinking at the door, and I've been knocking and okay. putting on the door now. We turned off all the lights. Okay. Okay, what color and make of vehicles should be in the driveway? Uh, we have a, a green salon, a white um, Nissan, a GMC, and a Honda, a blue Honda. Okay, a white Nissan, you said? Yes, a white Nissan, a, a green Scion, a black GMC, and a, and a, like an easy blue um, Honda. Blue Honda. Okay, and only those vehicles should be in the driveway? Yes, there's more. Okay. Okay. My deputies, you are going lights and sirens to you, so just keep me up to date and let me know what you're seeing and hearing. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can find the one that I can't really... Just don't put yourself in danger whatever you do, okay? Okay. I don't want you going outside just to try to look for them. No, 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 no. He's still knocking and trying to get inside. Okay. Let me know if he leaves, okay? If he, and if he does leave, and if you do see which way he goes, let me know, okay? Okay. Good, good. Yeah, I'm going to get him on the road. Do you want to Is he drunk? He's still banging out the door and trying to get in. Gotcha. Maybe anything? He's still at the door. He still keeps knocking in time. Okay. <laughs> Was anybody able to see his uh, approximate age or clothing description? No, not really. Okay. We th we think it's somebody that that lives near, near here, but we don't. We can't really make that out. Okay, gotcha. You don't want to, yeah. Do you know the police are coming out here? I, I, I believe they. I believe they're. Okay. Yeah, because we I just said he's not leaving or anything like that. Okay. Is he still knocking? Yes, she's still knocking and still trying to get him. Okay, I think the police are arriving right now. Do you see him outside? Yes, but they're in the house. The side is not the one next to, next to us. Um, they usually don't park right in front of the house. Okay. Okay. What is he doing? Okay, so, he's walking towards the police. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much for calling, man. You did awesome.
All right, we're going to hang up now, okay? Goodbye. When police arrived on scene, they noticed there was indeed a man with a shovel. The man was later identified as 37-year-old Nicholas Morales Bassania. The officers told him to drop the shovel, but he didn't listen and instead charged at them. A deputy opened fire on Bassania, killing him. The gunshots could be heard towards the end of the 911 call. Bassania was a single father and had a 13-year-old son. The deputy who shot him was placed on administrative leave. A vigil was held for Bassania, and his family members believe that the shooting was unjustified and are looking to seek justice for his death. The coalition of Emma Cali workers described his death as sad and unnecessary. Officers in this specific department don't wear body cameras, and permission to access dashcam footage was denied due to it still being a pending investigation. On August 24, 2020, in Georgetown, South Carolina, multiple 911 calls were made reporting a shooting that had taken place on Georgetown Highway. 45-year-old Nicholas Wall and his stepdaughter, 21-year-old Laura Anderson, were both shot and killed. Another person was shot in the wrist and survived. This all stemmed from an argument that had occurred because of a car crash. Georgetown County 911. I got shots fired. Where at? I don't know what the hell's going on. Where at? Where are you at? Shots fired. Where at? Fort Georgetown Highway. Get here now. Where? 12 what? Georgetown County 911. Where's your emergency? Hi, I just witnessed, um, I guess, a shooting where a crash was. A little past Nine Mile Curve on 521. Nine Mile Curve? You just witnessed a shooting? Um, it looked like there was a wreck, and then um, an African American male was dressed with shooting at some other people outside of the car. Okay, was anybody hit? Um, no, it was only, he was outside of the car. It looks like there was, there was like a, some kind of fender bender, and then he was out, he was live shooting and gunshots going off. It looks like there's an ambulance on the way, but. All right, are they still there? Um, I'm not sure, I'm just driving down the road. Okay, do you know what kind of vehicles it was? It looked like a black kind of, um, small compact car with damage on the front he was wearing the the shooter was wearing a black shirt african-american male okay didn't get a good look with dreads yes all right ma'am we've got them i think we got an ambulance there okay thank you 23-year-old Taishim Walters III was apprehended by authorities after he ran into the woods near Kent Road when spotted. Investigators want to charge him with two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. Nicholas was described by family as a loving person who would do anything for anyone. Laura was getting ready to start college and pursue a career in teaching, following in the footsteps of her mother Kim. She was getting ready to move into her new house and was making the final touches with the help of her stepfather. Thank you so much for watching the video, I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to stick around, please subscribe, it really helps the channel out a lot. And as always, take care out there.